Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Prayer for America and Prayer for the Nations. I'm Walter Zagarevich. And I'm Nina Zagarevich. And we have with us uh, Reverends Tony and March Abram on this very special Christmas special of uh, Prayer for America and the Nations. Welcome, Tony and March. Would you greet the people? We greet you today on this beautiful week before uh, we celebrate the birth of Christ on the 25th. But we greet you in the name of Jesus. Truly, we serve a wonderful Savior. Uh, he is, there is no one like him, of course. We cannot compare him to anyone or any religion because Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. And I just praise Jesus that he came, that he was willing to leave heaven and all the glory with the Father and come down to be our Savior. And I have the verse of scripture that is dear to my heart at this time of the year because of what Jesus has done for me and his name shall be called Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. I'm glad that I'm saved. What would Christmas be if I didn't know him? And uh, I trust that all those that are watching around the world will open our hearts and in need maybe in this doing this broadcast and receive Jesus uh, as a wonderful savior. And one day, when you see him, you'll be so happy. And I'm looking at those beautiful roses behind Walter and Nina. Yes. And uh, they are so big and so beautiful, but can you imagine what they are like in heaven? Wow, we don't wanna miss that. So at this Christmas season, we want to wish everyone the very best Christmas you've ever had. Amen. 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 And Nina, you've got a present for the people. I do. I first want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you find joy this season in Jesus. And I'd also like to thank um, Tony and Marge for being such great hosts as we were visiting them earlier. Uh, just a week ago, we were visiting with them. And we just want to thank you for hosting us and treating us so well. We love you so much. <clears throat> um, but my gift to you is found in Romans 15, verse 13, and it says, now may God, the fountain of hope, fill you to overflowing with uncontainable joy and perfect peace as you trust in him. And may the power of the Holy Spirit continually surround your life with super abundance and fill you with radiant hope. And I just wish that for each and every one that Jesus is our only hope and look to him and he will fill your desires and he will make a way when there is no way. So keep trusting him and he will come through for you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And uh, <laughs> we're glad you've joined us today. I know that some of you are watching live. Some will not be able to see us until a little bit later due to time constraints and time differences. But wherever you're at, we want to wish you a very blessed uh, Christmas today. And uh, Brother Tony and Marge, um, back to you. I know we haven't had you on here for a bit. Uh, we're so glad to have you on today. Praise the Lord. Brother Walter and Sister Nina, it was also wonderful to have you there Amen. with us in, uh, and to share with us. Uh, we shared the word, too, with each other as we were together, but it's always good to fellowship with you, and we appreciate your dedication to God, your, your love for God, and your family. We love your family very much also, and you're always in our prayers, but uh, Nina, as you were talking about the, the hope that we have, we also have peace because Jesus is our peace. And one of my favorite scriptures as Tony's was uh, there about Jesus being called Jesus, saving his people from their sins is found in Isaiah nine and six. And it says for to us is a child is born to us, a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor, 
mighty God, everlasting Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. Isn't that wonderful to know that he will reign forever? He is the Prince of Peace, and that's who we're looking for. We're looking for him to come and reign over this world because we see the evil is so, so evil today. But we know that Jesus will bring peace, and he brings peace to us now. He is wonderful. He is the counselor. He is the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And that shows you that he is one God. Some people try to say we believe in three different gods, but we believe in one God. In, and we just thank God for his presence and his with us today and with his presence all through our lives. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. I think of Isaiah when he wrote this scripture. He was uh, he he was a prophet during four kings. Mm -hmm. The four kings are Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Ahaz, and Hezekiah. Around 740 years before Jesus' birth, and he prophesied this wonderful coming of Jesus. He also prophesied the crucifixion. And we often call Isaiah the book of Isaiah. So the we gospel. are certainly blessed. The gospel. The gospel of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, the gospel of Isaiah. Praise the Lord. So this day, we have so much to praise God for our wonderful God, our wonderful Savior that we have. Amen. And it's wonderful, especially at this Christmas season and the end of the year, to have dear friends. And we count Walter and Nina it's just some of our very dearest friends and we love yes. them and their family very much yes. and feel like uh, they are part of our family or we are part of theirs. And uh, yes. at this season, I also think about the many Christmases. I'd like to go back for just a few moments to 1965. And it was uh, Marge and I's first Christmas in Africa. And we found ourselves in South Africa, so far away from uh, our families in Canada and the United States. And there we wondered what will our first Christmas so far away be? And yet God gave us friends there in South Africa. And then I remember I was accustomed being born and raised in Pennsylvania and of course, Marge, born and raised in uh, Alberta, Canada, how that uh, on Christmas Eve, we went with a group of believers from a church that was so kind to us. And we were uh, doing, uh, singing gospel or rather carols. And we were caroling, that's what we were doing. And we were sweating. We were not used to that. We were used to white Christmas, just like right now outside the window. The snow is flowing, and um, I don't hear any jing jing jingle, but, but it's uh, much colder than it was that time in South Africa. And then Sunday morning, and I remember uh, Brother Pastor Pot Heater. I had never met him, and we had met some wonderful people. We had arrived there, I think, the end of uh, November or first part of December. And I remember when he got off the plane, <clears throat> the head of the full gospel businessman, uh, he met us. And then the Knutza family. Uh, the Knutza family. And the old, old uh, Dutch people, uh, the, what are the, the old Boers the, in South Africa. Uh, the men kissed the men, and I had never in my life ever had a man kiss me on the lips. And I remember when we got off the plane, I mean, with just a little tap. You kind of put up there, but we'll hear that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and then, and then I remember uh, the third man in government, how that. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now, 
but uh, he greeted us and what a wonderful man he was. And God started giving us friends. But here we come on Christmas Day and Christmas was spent with Brother Pot Heater. He was the head of the, I think it was the assemblies, assemblies, of yeah. assemblies across as Southern Africa. And this didn't involve just the Assemblies of God, but uh, different, uh, 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 different groups. And he was the very head of that. And he brought us to their home for dinner and so forth. And here was gifts for us. And I remember I was short on shirt, shirts that Marge used to wash and I'd wear the next day, uh, those Duraline shirts. And here there was gifts like that given to us and the uh, wonderful doors that opened up. And then I'm sad to say that during that year in that part of the world, uh, there was a lot of apartheid. Well, I wasn't accustomed to uh, just preaching to white people and black people and brown people. I was, I believe Jesus came for all people. I believe that he's concerned about everyone and that we're all, God wants all of us to be part of the family of God. And uh, here our meetings would have to be segregated. And they were great meetings, but even though they were supposed to be segregated, uh, the whites would come to those big black crusades. The blacks would come to the, uh, to the uh, white Church meetings meeting. and they would stand on the, on the side. But oh, what a wonderful time we had. And let, let me just share one more Christmas because we've spent a number of Christmases away from home, away from the family. But here we were in Argentina. And one brother down there, I think he was uh, part of the Church of God. I'm not sure exactly. I think it was the Church of God. He was a missionary. He was married to American. He was Argentinian. And where did they take us? It must have been at least 30 degrees Celsius, almost a 90 degrees Fahrenheit. He takes us to the park. And there in the park on Christmas Day, we have an asado. We have a barbecue. And what did they serve me? Well, they had the best, you want to call them porterhouse steaks, or you want to call them T-bone steaks. But porterhouse has a filet mignon on it. That's why they call it porterhouse. But uh, you hardly see them anymore. They like to cut that out. Uh, but here we are. First, he gives me one. Then he gives me the second one. And I got to just tie one more thing in. Uh, then on New Year's Day, we're visiting our, you know, Argentina pastor's home. And I like lamb. Lamb is my favorite meat if I'm going to eat meat. And I remember they were barbecuing a whole lamb. And they said to me, Brother Tony, uh, what part of the lamb do you like the best for a snack? And what did they bring me? This whole, I thought they'd bring me one little thing. I said, I like the ribs. Mm -hmm. And here they bring this big rack of ribs. ribs. <laughs> and uh, then I thought that was my meal. And I was wondering why they were serving me. Then afterwards, what do they bring me? A whole leg of lamb. <laughs> and uh, well, it wasn't I, a huge one, but it was plenty. It was, yeah, was plenty, of course. <laughs> of course, we remember in Australia where you would buy a half a lamb, a uh, spring lamb for $2. Uh, you can't see that today or, or little filet mignons for 20 cents. But anyways, I'm talking about food. I must be getting hungry. But anyways, wherever you are right now, whether you're in China, whether you're in Australia, whether you're in Europe, whether you're in Canada, whether you're in the United States, wherever you are, Jesus is there. And what is the purpose of Christmas? Remembering Christmas. What is the purpose of it? I believe it isn't to stuff ourselves and just give gifts to one another. I believe it's to honor the King of Kings and Lord of Lords because there's no one like the Lord Jesus Christ who is the same 
yesterday, today, and forever. And he was no longer just a babe in Bethlehem. He is the mighty king who conquered hell, death, and a grave. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. And I better quit because I'm about to start preaching. And Brother Walter and, and Nina will not be able to say anything more. And my wife will keep on giving me that poke. <laughs> it's time to slow down. But we love you and wish you a merry and a happy New Year. Blessed Christmas. Blessed Christmas. Blessed Christmas. Amen. Okay, Thank Sister Mark. Brother Walter. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wow. Going back only 56 years ago <laughs> uh, there in Africa. Well, you know, um, uh, Christmas is celebrated in different parts of the world. And uh, certainly in um, uh, the Northern Hemisphere, we uh, have the cold weather. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's kind of hard to imagine, but it's hot. <laughs> it's the... It's mm -hmm. the Right in their summer when it uh, when Christmas takes place, but in parts of the world like Eastern Europe, they still celebrate Christmas on the seventh of January. So we we'll get to celebrate again. Uh, so we can celebrate it again. Keep those yes, gifts coming. And as a matter of fact, our Christmas cards, which we ordered quite a while ago, haven't arrived yet. I guess they thought we were on that schedule. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten a card for, from us, it's not that we don't love you. We do, but you will receive it. Hopefully Hopefully before the Christmas uh, from the, the Orthodox, in Ukraine yeah. <laughs> and Russia. <laughs> Praise God. In Armenia, for some reason, they mm -hmm. celebrate one day later on the 8th of January. So uh, wants that special day. Yes, that special day. But the importance of Christmas is not the material aspect of it, which many That's people right. have put the emphasis on. And there's so much stress as people try to get presents for everyone. And it is a good thing to give because God loved the world so much that he gave. He gave Jesus. He gave his best. Mm -hmm. He gave his one and only begotten son. And in return, now he has many sons and daughters. He gave Jesus, and now he has many children all over the world. Well, one of his names is Wonderful. He is a worker of wonders. Uh, there is no one more wonderful than Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, he opens the eyes of the blind. He makes mm -hmm. the lame to walk. He opens deaf ears, mm -hmm. and he transforms lives. Yeah. He makes sinners into saints. And if you do not know Jesus yet, the very reason he came into this world is to save you, to reconnect you with God, all of us with God, because when the first man, Adam, sinned, he was separated, and the human race was separated mm -hmm. from the glory of God, from the presence of God. But Jesus, the second Adam, had made a way for us to be his children, and out of not only his children, but also, he removed that wall of separation between the Jewish people and the Gentiles, where all of us can now be linked, can, all of us could be part uh, of that grafted into the vine, uh, God and, and Jesus Christ. So Jesus is a worker of wonders. And, and Brother Tony, there are people out there in need right now. We are celebrating Christmas with some people are in uh, maybe in depression. Some people may be alone. Uh, some people may uh, wish they were with people, as you had mentioned. Uh, maybe they're at home, but but their loved one has passed away. Maybe they're all alone there. Uh, mm -hmm. There are people who are in the midst of some trial or situation. Maybe they lost their loved one. There are people who have uh, a sickness and, and issues, uh, maybe <clears throat> even chronic problems, chronic diseases. Yet Jesus has not changed. We read that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Brother Tony, would you pray for people out there who are in need right now as the Lord leads you? And maybe Sister Marge, you could pray for those who are maybe experiencing depression and loneliness uh, in this hour. But Brother Tony, would you pray for, for those uh, as the Lord leads you? Our Heavenly Father, we know that Jesus came to seek and, and to save that those that are lost. Yes. And nothing is more important than the salvation of a soul. 
a man, woman, a young person who surrenders their life to Jesus. Yes. And Lord, there's a lot of people that are going to view this and are viewing it, that are carrying heavy burdens. Lord, many with the heavy burden of sin. And I pray, Lord, right now, they may open their hearts yes. and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my personal savior. Be involved in everything I do. Be involved in my life, my home my family yes. lord those that are praying that yes. answer prayer yes. but father we bring those that are sick yes. and afflicted yes. those that are suffering especially at this time which should be the happiest time of the year but for some it is the time of loneliness but lord let them know that jesus said i'll not leave you I'll not forsake you. And Father, those that may be in hospitals, in sick rooms, those that are suffering pain and heartache, <clears throat> my God, we send the word. We're reminded of your word there in Psalms 10720, where God sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from their destruction. Lord, in Jesus' name, we send the word, not that we have the ability to do it or the power to do it, but it's you, Lord, and it's the authority of that name of Jesus Christ. And in that name, we send the word of healing, the word of deliverance, Lord, you see those that are praying for their family. They are lost and lost without God. But God, they're crying out to you to save their family from their sins. And his name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save these people from their sins. And Lord, I'm reminded in your word in 1 Peter 2, 24, yes. by whose stripes we were healed. And yes. as we are praying this prayer up together yes. with Nina, Walder, Marge, myself, yes. Lord, we're agreeing, yes. but there are others that are watching. Yes. We know that uh, our dear friend Tom and, and his wife, Bev, uh, as they work in the background to, to put this on YouTube and, and the other things that they do, Lord, in recording, Lord, I know they're agreeing. And others that are watching at this moment are agreeing. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we agree together, we send the word of healing into every country into every home. Lord, uh, we ask that you minister to the needs uh, of all those in authority, to the one who is uh, homeless on the street or in the field, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we think of our soldiers, Lord, uh, are, the, are the military that, Lord, are far from their homes. Uh, Many of them are married and have children. And Lord, they long to be home at this time. But Lord, we ask that you meet with them in the name of Jesus. And that revival fires will begin to burn around the world. Let it burn with such, a, with such a intensity that multitudes will come to Christ. Yes. Oh, Lord, let this Christmas season be a day, a time when never in the history of the world that so many have surrendered and given their hearts and lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, Lord, grant it, we pray in Christ's name. Lord. And Father, we come to you again in the precious name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you that you are on the throne. And Lord, you're hearing the cries of your children as we agree together, Lord. We know you're hearing our prayers, Father. And Lord, we pray for those that are having depression problems. We bring them to you, Lord. They will, Lord, those that are believers and are looking to you, Lord, touch them even right now, Lord. We send your word to them. Encourage them. Let them realize that you are on the throne of their hearts, Lord, and you love them and you care care for them and you're ministering to them right now put your loving arms around them lord let them feel the anointing and presence and love of god in jesus name we pray lord those that are homeless as tony prayed we agree lord those that are homeless and cold and hungry lord whatever lord those that are in drugs and alcohol lord are bound by those spirits we pray the loosening in jesus name right now of these these uh these uh, things that are bound them father we pray in jesus name right now we send your word to them lord let them feel the presence of god let them be delivered we speak deliverance to them and father we just pray for all those that are at, with families this christmas season lord we pray for the families that are separated by differences and lord by hurts and things that have been said we ask you to minister this christmas lord to them because you came to bring peace so we speak peace to their families lord healing to their families and lord healing to these situations father in jesus name lord those that are in hospitals those lord that are in hospice care father we send your word to them right now our families lord our friends lord we send your word to them minister to them lord encourage them let them know that you are with them lord you will never leave them you will never forsake them as you have taken care of us you will take care of them lord we just pray healing for those that have alzheimer's lord you're the healer lord let them be healed in their minds lord let them look to jesus and just speak the word of the lord in jesus name right now over them lord we speak the word of the lord over them right now lord healing and deliverance in jesus name and lord just minister throughout the world father those that are listening those that are praying for loved ones and friends father we just speak the word of the lord and we join with them and agree with them that you are hearing our prayers we thank you lord as we all agree brother walter sister nina tony and myself and we agree with you that are listening in jesus name the elderly lord those that lord they're lonely today father in jesus name minister to them lord let them feel your wonderful presence in jesus name right now knowing that you love them lord i think of special friends mary and leon lord minister to them right now father we send your word they are lonely and they'll be by themselves for christmas lord minister to them in jesus name i pray and lord all of those that are traveling father we ask you to protect them today we think of jeff as he travels lord oh perhaps 10 or more hours lord i pray for him your protection and all those that are traveling today and those that will be traveling during the holidays lord your protection upon them as we claim your protection over us all in the precious name of jesus amen Amen. And Father, we send your word to John. Yes, Lord, Lord. Uh, we command the condition <laughs> in his feet to be healed, the swelling to come down, and those wounds to heal up. And Lord, those other conditions in his body, we command healing to come forth in Jesus' name. Lord, we bring a Paul with uh, suffering with gout. Uh, the request came during yesterday's broadcast. Well, we send your word. Heal him, oh God, in Jesus' name. 
We Father, commend healing in those Jesus joints. Uh, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, we command that arthritic condition to leave, that arthritis to melt away and healing to come forth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are our Savior. You are our healer. You are a worker of wonders. You are wonderful. Manifest, oh God, that uh, mighty power in those who are at the sound of our voice in America, in Canada, in New Mexico, in Cuba, in Africa, in Europe, in Ukraine, Russia, Armenia, oh God, in Germany and in the UK, wherever people are watching us right now and will be watching. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I release your word. Touch them. Heal them right now in Jesus' name. Oh, rest Resurrection power of Jesus come forth and manifest in their bodies, healing them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, those that may be suffering from the virus uh, or any of its variants, in the name of Jesus, we come against that uh, diabolical virus. We command it to leave your body right now, and we speak healing and health to your lungs, to your heart, to your body. May your antibodies be strong to receive. Yes. this and reject in Jesus' name, Father, we pray for those uh, who are uh, with fear right now. We rebuke the spirit of fear. We recognize that you do not give that spirit of fear. It comes from the enemy, and we rebuke that spirit of fear. And Lord, we thank you that you will turn the focus of your people on you, the answer, on Jesus, rather than on problems. In Jesus' name, yes, in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wherever you're at, receive from the Lord. The Lord is touching. The Lord is healing. Mm -hmm. Some of you are watching live. Some of you will be watching at other time, uh, at other times because of differences in our time zones. It doesn't matter. There is no distance in prayer, and there is the same anointing will be there when you're watching to touch you, to heal you, to deliver you, to set you free. Just put your trust in Jesus. Don't look at the bigness of your need or your problem. Turn your focus on Jesus. Christ is the answer. He is the Savior of the world. He came to change your life. He came to give you hope, and there is hope in Jesus Christ. Do not forget that. Look at the bigness of God, the greatness of God. He is wonderful. He is a mighty God. He is the mighty God. He is the everlasting Father. Amen. So he has no beginning, no end, and he is everywhere present. He is present where you are right now, and he is right there with you. You may feel uh, that you're alone. You're not alone. Jesus is there with you. Mm -hmm. Invite him into your life. Invite him into your Amen. circumstances. And if you've not received him as your Savior, just pray this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a Sinner, forgive me all my sins. I renounce all the work mm -hmm. of the devil in my life, and I turn my life over to you, Amen. Jesus. Yes, Come Lord into Jesus. my life. Save me, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you Amen. prayed that prayer sincerely, I can assure you that Jesus has heard that prayer, and he is coming into your life right now, forgiving all of your sins and giving you a fresh start. Mm -hmm. Write us and let us know, and do three things as we tell you all the time. Brother Tony, why don't you tell them what the three things are that they should do? Well, the three things you need to do if you want to grow in the grace of God is to talk to God, have a continuing uh, day by day, fellowship with God by talking to him. Uh, and then and when we pray, that's talking to God. Second, let God talk to you. Yes, he speaks to our hearts. He puts the right things uh, in our mind. He never puts an evil thing. It's always a good thing. And uh, when we read the word, that's God talking to us. And third, talk to somebody else. Try to do it daily. Tell others what Jesus means and what he has done for you and become part of a Bible. Now, notice what I said, 
Bible-believing church. Uh, we don't, I'm sorry to say, just like in so many things, there are those things that are true and things that are not true. It's like the internet. I had a very dear friend come and say to me, uh, it was a fantastic thing. And I says, well, where'd you get this? And she said to me, from the internet, my son-in-law gave it to me. I said, listen, uh, well, everything you read on the internet isn't true. There's a lot of true things, but there are a lot of things that are not true. What is truth is Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So tell others and become part of a church that believes like that, Brother Walden. Amen. We've getting a prayer request. We have uh, a prayer request from Ukraine, and we're praying for. Uh, we want to pray for Millie. I think it is in Ukraine as uh, as part of uh, the musical uh, group that works with uh, Brother Igor, mm -hmm. um, whom we've had on the broadcast before, and she is in need of prayer right now. Let's pray for her. Sister Karina, if you're watching there in Zaporozhye, Ukraine, Merry God Christmas. richly bless you. Merry Christmas to you and your entire family there, your uh, mom, dad, and all the church there, the uh, the church, the only hope. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we yes. lift up this need of Millie in Ukraine. Lord, we don't know what her uh, condition is, what she needs, but in the name of Jesus yes, Christ, Jesus we send Christ. your word send right your word. now to Millie. Touch her and heal her in Jesus' name. Resolve that situation that she is confronting, and Lord, work in her life right now. And Lord, we bless our friends and, and, and throughout Ukraine and Russia and Armenia and the former yes. Soviet Union and Belarus. Lord God, yes. uh, those uh, precious souls who are serving you. Yes. Lord, we pray that you would encourage and you would strengthen your church. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would protect the nation of Ukraine. We pray yes. and speak peace into that situation on the border. Yes. Lord, we speak a hedge of protection around yes. your people yes. and around that nation in this hour. Lord God, we thank you that your power supersedes the power of armament, supersedes the power of men. Amen. And you have the final word. And so, Lord God, we give you this. Uh, we commit to you this situation. Yes, Lord, and we Jesus. thank you for your intervention in Jesus' name. Yes, but, Lord, thank continue you, to give boldness to your yes, church Lord, there Jesus. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for um, the, um, our country, America. And we know that you want to bless us, Father. But we pray, Lord, today acknowledging your greatness. We honor you and we thank you for you are great and great is your faithfulness to us every morning. Father, we pray and agree together right here with all of us that your kingdom come and that your will will be done in our nation. We humbly ask you to extend mercy to the United States of America. Almighty God, have compassion on us once again. Restore this nation to be that beacon of light and hope for the world to see. Father, we repent and we ask you to forgive us for not following your ways. Father, give your church in America discernment and courage in the days ahead. We ask for your divine rescue from destruction. Show us your mighty acts of the days of long ago. May this nation see your awesome power on display so that they too can acknowledge that truly there is only one mighty God in the heavens. Open the eyes of men and women in this Christmas season to see that you sent Jesus to rescue the world. You are the ultimate giver of life and hope. We pray revival fire to fall upon this nation and its leaders. We bind the spirit of greed and corruption that has blinded so many of us. May the fear of God fall on these leaders. Remove the scales of deception and may truth and righteousness reign once again in this nation. Father, we thank you 
for releasing the warring angels to fight the evil principalities as we intercede for this nation. We bind every demonic entity that is trying to stop your plans and your purposes for this country. Father, we acknowledge that when we couple our faith with you, there is nothing that can stand against your mighty power. We bind the strongholds of COVID variants over this nation and the world. We release the resurrection power of Jesus Christ to rise up in all believers. Be whole in Jesus' name. May your miracle working power be released for the world to see and believe in the power of the cross. We bind the spirit of Baal, the murdering of unborn children to be overturned in all the states. Father, give the Supreme Court justices wisdom. May they value life and agree to overturn laws that support abortion. Father, we also thank you for the trafficked children that are being found. Bring the evildoers to justice and may all abused children be rescued. Do not let the little ones suffer for they are precious in your sight. Do not let the enemy triumph over us. Answer us, Lord. Show the world you are indeed alert and active, watching over your word to perform it. So we declare your glory over our lives. We declare your glory over the church. We declare your glory over America and to all the ends of the earth. And according to Psalm 57, it says, be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. And we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise God. Jesus. Praise God. We believe that yes, as we Lord. pray for America, uh, pray for your nation yes, that Lord. you live in. Pray for Canada yeah. if you're in Canada. Yeah. Pray for Mexico if you're in Canada and Mexico. Or pray for Cuba if you're in Cuba. Or mm -hmm. Ukraine for Ukraine and Russia for Russia. And mm -hmm. whatever nation you're in, pray for your nation. Pray for the United Kingdom. We have folks that watch us there. God richly bless mm -hmm. you. We're praying for you. We're praying for the nations. We're praying for China. Mm -hmm. uh, Father, there are those who are restricted during uh, this time. And not just this time because of COVID, but Thank Lord, you, because Jesus. of laws and, and restrictions on churches and restrictions on religious practices. Yes, Father, we pray for the churches in China in this hour that you would fortify them, that you would strengthen them, the Lord, that you would protect them, that you would uh, uh, just blind the eyes of those that would yes. seek to persecute them or to in any way hinder their worship of Jesus. And Lord God, we pray that you would strengthen your church in China. China, that you would embolden your church and that the, the church will multiply throughout that nation and not only that nation but surrounding regions father would likewise we pray for nepal and yes, for sir. india father yes, we send father. your word to them we send your word to those pastors and leaders there and in pakistan yes, oh god in the name of jesus and other nations in that region bhutan and and, and cambodia and vietnam oh father in the name of jesus move by your spirit move by your power father we pray for people like brother deepak and other pastors who are laboring to save the lost in yes, nepal sir. and in india and father we pray that you would strengthen their hands and yes, use Lord. them in this hour in yes, Jesus Lord. name in, in Jesus name praise Amen. God praise God well we're we believe God is answering mm -hmm. prayer we know that God hears prayer the Bible Amen. says if we ask anything according to his will first John 5 14 he hears us and if he hears us we know not we think or no we know that we have not might have but have the petitions that we have asked of him so believe god's word and confess god's word keep looking on to jesus keep trusting in him i know it's not easy sometimes but be encouraged in the lord and uh, try to fellowship with other believers to be encouraged amen, amen. tony and marge we've uh, I've, I've gone long here but uh, um back to you maybe you feel some things that you want to share uh both of you please uh um praise the lord brother walter and sister nina i just wanted to share and thank you for praying for me when i had that fall and uh, had injured my wrist but i didn't break any bones thank the lord and i just had bru bru uh, very bad bruises which are almost completely gone now so i know you prayed for me and god has been healing me 
and I'm almost completely, in fact, I don't hardly see anything on my wrist. I'm, I just thank God for no broken bones and for those bruises being healed. But I would just like to say, uh, as we say goodbye to you at this time, that let us come and worship the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. During this Christmas, let us worship him and thank him for our salvation, all the blessings of God that we're experiencing. So I just like to say, let us worship him and thank him for what he is doing in our lives and answering our prayers. Praise the Lord. And I'd like to just thank God for all the friends that we have in our ministry yes. and over the years in various countries. God has always supplied a need. Just recently, the other day, when we were getting off the plane, and we needed some help and assistance. Well, you know, when you're 82 years old, and uh, it's not so easy to get around like you did. But uh, their brother Tom, uh, who also, as we, as you know, uh, does the recording and does a lot for uh, these broadcasts that Brother Walter have. And I don't believe Brother Walter mentioned to you to share, but you can still share when this program's over that uh, you can uh, have others. I shared the moment it started because he had reminded me, but then he forgot to remind you. But uh, uh, brother Tom, bro and yeah, brother, brother Tom. Malcolm. And then I'm not finished, dear. <laughs> there's a friend. There's a friend. She's always on the back, always encouraging me, and where I, I slip up. But anyways, uh, he was such a blessing. And then uh, Malcolm. Um, our nephew, uh, he, he, he helped us also the same day. And, and then uh, our car, uh, we've having problems with it and couldn't get it started. And, and here, uh, another friend, Betty Marshall, uh, her husband, who was a pastor, but passed on some a few years ago. And uh, her and her son get, loaned us a better car than we normally drive. So we can use it as long as we want, but we're not going to take advantage of that. So sometimes we think that uh, God doesn't care. He not only moves uh, in the supernatural, but he takes our friends or m takes people and make them our friends and they help us. And I think at this, at this Christmas season, we want to wish you a... Uh, well, you know, in, in North America, Canada, U.S., we say Merry Christmas. But uh, like the British, they say Happy Christmas. Because, and then where we say uh, Happy New Year, I think they say Merry New Year. Or maybe not. I may get that. Uh, Blessed New Year. A blessed. Anyways, we're wishing the very best. And what a privilege to have. Walter and Nina as our dear friends yes. and we appreciate and love them and pray for them pray for their family yes. pray for their ministry uh, I know that Marge and I we've been at it a little while longer than them mm -hmm. but uh, they have a wonderful ministry and you might consider in this coming year of, of supporting their outreaches I know there's a number of you that watch us you are supporting our outreaches. And I want to say that 100% of what you give for a project goes for that purpose. Just had a nephew, I won't mention who, but uh, he called me and uh, he was asking if we had any projects. And I've talked to Brother Walter and there's a number of projects. And uh, he then finally he said, well, listen, well, I'm just going to go ahead and send you. He didn't say how much. And you use it where you think is most needed. Well, that's how we like to do it, because God knows what is most needed. But uh, Walter and Nina, want to wish you yeah. with those beautiful roses behind you. <laughs> uh, we want to wish you and your family the very best yeah. Christmas and New Year that you've had. God yeah. bless you. We love you both. Amen. 
Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We love and appreciate you. Amen. And uh, not only as friends, but as some ministers and as a great example Amen. to many in the body of Christ. People have dedicated your entire lives Amen. to uh, <laughs> preaching the gospel and reaching the lost around the world in over 125 nations. Mm -hmm. And God has greatly used you and may many follow in your footsteps. Uh, um, so we, we praise God for you. And as Brother Tony has mentioned, we are try to raise funds for different projects around the world. There are some very needy situations in uh, Kenya and Ukraine and uh, and other parts in, uh, of the world. And we want to give you the opportunity to sow. Uh, if you want to do that, please do that. We'll just add a little donate button after the broadcast. But I don't think I can do that on my uh, profile. It'll go on the Global Vision site. And uh, you could do it through that way, or you could do it in other mm -hmm. ways. Uh, and um, it will go towards uh, these projects uh, in different parts of the world. Uh, we're receiving thank yous from uh, some that we have helped uh, already. And the help is going out to different parts of the world. Some places we, we can't talk too much about publicly, but uh, God is working in a wonderful and powerful way. Uh, but thank you so much. You know, the Bible uh, says in that passage that uh, Sister Mar C uh, Marge had mentioned was Isaiah 9, 6, um, uh, the names of Jesus Christ. And one of them is Prince of Peace. And so as Prince of Peace, he gives us a peace that surpasses human understanding. And that peace uh, in Hebrew, the word for peace is shalom. But shalom is much more than just the absence of agitation as we think of peace, but it involves uh, a lot more. It includes peace, of course, health, well-being, prosperity, happiness, blessing, and the absence of enmity. Jesus removed the enmity between man and God so that we can be the children of God we who did not deserve, uh, he took our place on the cross and made us now children of God. And I want to leave you with this prayer. Um, may Jesus bless you and bestow his gifts and promises upon you. May he guard you with a thorny hedge of protection that will prevent Satan and all your enemies yeah. from harming you. May he, may Jesus bring your life into order so that you will fulfill God's destiny and purpose for your life. May Jesus provide you with perfect love and give you sustenance and provision. May Jesus support you with his divine embrace. May Jesus give you peace and set in place all you need to be whole and complete so that you may walk in victory every moment uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. May he give you supernatural health. May Jesus give you supernatural peace, well-being, safety, soundness, tranquility, prosperity, perfection, fullness, rest, harmony, as well as the absence of agitation and discord. And we ask all this in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. For in that name, all these blessings may take place and will take place yeah. because we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Well, God richly bless you. Merry, blessed yes. Christmas. Yes. And, and remember, remember Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is the thing yesterday, yesterday today, and, and forever. forever. God bless you. Share this broadcast. Let others know and write us not only your prayer requests, but also your testimonies. God richly bless you. Thank you, Tony Marge. And love thank you all. And mm -hmm. thank you all who have joined us today. Mm -hmm. Share this broadcast. God richly bless you.